Hello. In this session, I want to talk about one of the things that's really a lot of risk managers struggle with, and that's about the measurement of risk management outcomes. How can we actually say and prove to an organization that what we're doing within the risk management field is actually making a difference and value adding to the organization? I have had experience whereby everything is going really well and as a result of that, the organization takes the foot off the pedal around their risk and their approach to risk management. And of course, as soon as they do that, incidents start to occur again. I've talked about the risk paradox in the past, and if you wanted to uh, go and have a look at that blog, that explains that a little bit more. So the way that I look at the measurement of risk management performance is in three distinct categories. The first and foremost is around compliance. The second is maturity, and the third and final and most important is around the value add. So we'll go through each of those. The first of them is compliance. Are we complying with what we've said our objectives are and our policy requirements in the risk management policy? Does every part of the organization have a risk register? Has everyone received risk management training? And by the way, I know a very good diploma um, and advanced diploma if you wanna come and do those. Has, have risk workshops been conducted every three months? But the interesting thing about the compliance element is you can be 100, comp percent compliant with all of the things in the risk management policy, but not adding value to the organization. So the next thing that we want to do is to look at the maturity of our risk management program and risk management framework. And the way that we do that is using some sort of risk audit tool. Now, I have a, um, a maturity assessment that I've used quite successfully on a number of occasions for organizations. And that measures the maturity against the development of the risk management framework and all the elements of the risk management framework, as well as the application. Are you actually managing risks or are you just capturing risks? Now, what you want to do over time as an organization is build up your level of maturity against that particular tool that you've used. Now, you can get an external third party to come in or you can do it internally. The idea is that we want to increase the capabilities of our organization, but also the maturity in relation to risk management. And we want to benchmark that. So what we need to do is to look at identifying where we are now and potentially where we want to be and how long we want that to take. So you need some sort of tool that's got a semi-quantitative capability with it. The third and the most difficult, I guess, for, for people to understand is how is risk management adding value? Now, this is really quite simple. You are already measuring the performance of your organization against a range of metrics. Those metrics tell you what your lead indicators are and your lag indicators and how well you are performing against those lead and lag indicators. And here's the way that we match our risk management program to those performance indicators. If we have within our organization an increased maturity within our risk management over time, what you should also find is that over the same period, there should be improvements against every single one of those metrics. Now, here's part of the risk management paradox. We can't say for a certainty that the risk management program has, con has contributed all of that. And I'll give you an example. I worked with an organization that had a 90% staff turnover in a 12 month period. We came in and we put in a whole lot of different strategies to make sure to try and reduce that. And after 12 months, we had reduced it down to 20%. Now we could not say for a certainty, however, that the strategies that we put in place contributed all of that. We certainly did contribute to that, but it was around the time of the global financial crisis. In this particular area, the mining boom had come off slightly. So people were less likely to leave the workplace anyway. But the, what we can say for a certainty is that we contributed to the improvement in that performance. So the trick here, obviously understand the compliance, 
but match and benchmark your maturity. At the same time you benchmark your maturity um, for your risk management program, benchmark where all of your metrics are within the organization and your performance measures. Because what we want to be able to demonstrate is a causal link between the improvement in our maturity and the improvement in those performance measures. And if you do that, then you're able to demonstrate the value of risk management to your organization. It is not as clear cut as a marketing strategy whereby you might put an advertising campaign out and it results in 24.7% increase in sales. That is something that's concrete. Risk management doesn't work like that. But I reiterate, benchmark and then measure. And if you improve your risk maturity over time, then that will, should flow on to an increase and an improvement in your performance measures within your organization. And that you will be able, that will allow you to demonstrate the value of risk management to your organization and to the management of your organization because you'll be doing a lot less crisis management. Well, that's all I've got for this session. As always, let's be careful out there.